Welcome to the new edition of Breaking Balls with me, Des Cahill. Uh, on the show, we will be joined by the country's best-known lunatics and sociopaths to discuss all matters GAA. Now, I'm delighted to be joined by uh, Joe Lucknan, Joe Brawley, Jim McGuinness, and for some reason, Liam Brady. I've no idea why Liam Brady is here. Uh, firstly, uh, we turn to uh, Hurlan and Joe Lucknan... Uh, Kilkenny prevail to yet another All Ireland final. Uh, we're getting pretty sick of the cats getting to the final now, aren't we, Jer? Des, growing up in the county of Clare, I was always of the belief that cats didn't like the rain. But in the monsoon like conditions in Croke Park last Sunday, the kitty cats drowned the poor old three team in Finn Limerick and progressed to yet another final. And Limerick needed to get a goal, but if they, if they were still out there at the moment, Des, they still wouldn't score a goal. I'm telling you, they didn't have a ball's notion in how in the name of God to break down that Kilhenny defence. And I'm telling you, they'd be better off if they spent the day using the hurdles to scratch their balls. OK, Joe, take, take a breather there, Joe. You're, you're getting a bit excited, you're getting a bit carried away. But, but uh, Tipperary and Cork uh, meet in the other semi-final. And this is going to be the first time these two sides meet in Croke Park. And uh, this will be a, a, a titanic battle, surely, Joe. Des, the only way this is going to be any way like Titanic is if Jimmy Barry Murphy, Jose Minoche, aloft over the Hogan stand before kicking him straight up the hall onto the Joneses road. Uh, the Rebels have surely progressed to the final for the second year in succession because if Tipperary want to win the game, then Tipperary need to get a goal. And, and they're going to find it very hard to get a goal because Anthony Nash is in absolutely flying form at the moment. And, by the way, he will be like Edward Scissorhands on Sunday. Only with Hurleys instead of Scissors. <laughs> Yeah, just just what uh, Anthony Nash uh, has he anything to do with with Nash's lemonade? I wonder. What? It, how in the name of God now has that got anything to do with hurling? Jesus, Des, do you know what? You really don't have a. Okay, okay. Uh, Joe Brawley, uh, we we'll move on to uh, Joe Brawley. Uh, Joe, you were watching Dublin versus Monaghan, and uh, it, it was a fairly one-sided affair. It was an abomination. There's, it was like watching Real Madrid play the Renford Rejects. But imagine the rejects were missing the fellow who thought he was an Italian. You know, it bordered on the ridiculous at times. You know, it was a horror show. But Joe, do you think Monaghan didn't have much of a rest period? Of course, they had an extra joy win over Kildare in Croke Park the week before. Listen, Des, tiredness has nothing to do with that calamity. You can always power through tiredness because it's just a state of mind. Like, for example, I once got a man off a murder charge in Belfast Magistrate Court. And I was bollocks tired. I came straight from Anthony Tohill's stag night the night before after knocking back a load of Jaeger bombs. But I bullshitted my way through the whole thing. I powered through. But Monaghan allowed the tiredness to get the better of him. Okay, okay, I think we all remember Anthony Tohill's stag night in the bog side of Derry. <laughs> the, uh, the, the, the... The midget stripper from the Isle of Man, of course. But, uh, but uh, Dublin now face a battle-hardened Donegal side in the semi-final. And uh, Jim McGuinness, uh, how will you line out against this Dublin side? Well, there's, uh, since Neil Lennon left his post at Celtic, he's, he's sort of been in the background here with Donegal, you know, thinking of various tactics to counteract the Dublin forwards. Because, you know, Neil would have great experience when dealing with the uh, the great attacking forces of Scottish football, such as St. Johnston, Kilmarnock, Inverness, Caledonia and Thistle. Yeah, St. Johnston, a real powerhouse, yeah. But, but, but Shea Gifford, a uh, former Irish goalie, also been involved in the Donegal background team. Uh, he's a good relationship with your goalkeeper, Paul Durkett, by all accounts. Aye, uh, Shea and Paul are like Ant and Dick. Uh, get along fierce well. She has given some great tips to Paul about goalkeeping, you know, key stuff such as don't let the ball hit the net and kick the ball out and make sure the ball doesn't pass you and go into the net. Like you know, Fierce professional stuff, but it's great to have the professional soccer experience involved within the GAA because I think that it... Hang on a minute, hang on a minute, Bill. Sorry, one second, it's, it's, it's Des, actually. So just one second, Liam Brady wants to say something on this topic. Now, Liam, Liam, why, why are you here? Well, Des, since Bill retired, I've been a bit lost, so I've just been stalking the grounds of RTE, looking for culties like yourself to hang around with. Oh, okay, fair enough, but uh, since you are here, Liam... What do you think of the crossover between GAA and soccer? Do you think it's a positive move for the GAA? 
No, I don't think so, Des. I think it's a shame to God to see the likes of Neil Lennon and Shay Given wasting their time with shit for brains, G.A. Hey, no, shut up, you old bastard. When they when could the be out there, out there you helping talking, youngsters try to put on the green jersey and actually reach a world you, you cup. It's Fuck a disgrace. Off Fuck off back to Dublin. Now, the Protestant. reason this country wasn't at the last World Cup is because the youngsters of this country prefer to win something like the Carlo Junior hurling under 21 B That's slander. That's slander. Instead of you representing can't do that. You can their country. That's slander. It's a joke, Des. Are you anything but an old bollocks? Okay, everybody relax. Shut up, you bloody. You don't know what you're... It's a disgrace. You don't know what you're talking about. Go away, you bloody GAA, whatever you want to call it. Okay, okay. We're going to have to go to a quick ad break here. We're going to have to go... Okay, but tune in after the break where you could be in with a chance of winning a trip for two to Boris and Ossery County Offaly. Tune in after the break. (laughs) 